What's up guys? In today's video, we'll go from initially thinking that I have the quad almost built to realizing the motor is not strong enough, uh, the battery is not good enough, getting a brand new battery and motor on order. And while we uh, wait for that, taking the old motor, putting it into a uh, go-kart that I got. And so the majority of this build will be uh, getting a go-kart up and running and it is quite successful. Right now I'm trying to figure out the location for the batteries. So I think this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take these six 12 volt batteries and connect them up in what's that gonna be parallel to get a 72 volt battery. And let's see here. Uh, one of those are rated at, uh, let's see here, 10 amp hour. Yeah, 10 amp hour. No, 12 amp hour. So then I'll have 12 amp hour 72 volt right there. But then I was thinking, why not just have these in parallel, connect that system to a uh, Greenworks battery in series. That way, now I will increase my overall capacity. Uh, these come as 80 volt already or 70, you know, 72 would be just fine. So if I get that one in there, I would now have uh, six amp hour on top of that. So I would, you know, get 50% on uh, extra capacity just by one of those. And I have multiples of those. I have more of them right here. So I have three chargers. I'm gonna take one of the chargers, open it up, wire in uh, some, uh, or solder in some wires that I can then connect over to the batteries. And then up here, have all the electronics which are currently laying right here check it out this is the beginning of the monstrosity of my battery pack setup so i'm just using some straps uh, that i cut and then use my uh, soldering iron to make holes in it and then from there put some screws and washers to hold it down so this should be pretty stable I have one more battery to mount, which is gonna sit back here. And then um, then I'll be done with that. Then I can put the top here for the electronics and mount the 80 volt uh, lithium ion battery there. So yeah, I'm very excited. This is working out. And this is how far I got today. The main battery is done. They are secured in place. Three there, ended up with one back there. It's connected up here. Uh, I got to change out this one. It uh, was very uh, fragile. It just came apart. But um, yeah, I turned it on and I connected the handle so far. And you can see that yeah, works. And um, yeah, my next one now is to find a good mounting spot for this guy so that the battery will come up here and I can access it there. Um, I just hung it right now with just some zip ties just to get an idea. So I'm, I'm excited. We're moving forward. So here is the quad. It is functioning. However, Found out the motor is not quite strong enough for how heavy this one is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the motor off of this one, put it over here on this go-kart that is a lot lighter. But uh, just a general setup we have here is we connected all the batteries. So we have 72 volts in there. And here's a separate battery that is um, probably all I'm gonna be running the go-kart on. Also got some lights that are so they can run all the way up to I think 80 volts so I don't have to do a transformer or a step down for the power so those are good this is just temporary right here as far as the board goes I don't have any um, any box for it or anything yep this is just to test it out it does run but uh, just uh, not in the woods it just has to be fairly flat or or um, uh, just slight inclines. And this is where it's gonna go on. I'm gonna put it on here instead and uh, just put a little 
bracket next to it where I'll keep the batteries and then we should be good. So as you saw, there was just not enough power in that motor. While it was 3000 watts, it was just not enough. Uh, probably needed a gear reduction. So what I did instead was I talked to a friend of mine who had built a really nice uh, electric conversion on a uh, uh, motorcycle and he recommended a more professional motor. So that's what we have right now. Check this one out. So the motor that used to be mounted right there, I took it off and instead did a little electric conversion on this go-kart that I was given. So I put the batteries in here, have the controller there, then mounted the motor here, connect it up. And that worked really well, uh, but the, the motor had an issue, so I actually got a replacement. I'm gonna put that one on later on today and try to hook all of this up for the go-kart. Now back on to the main project here, the quad. I got this QS, I forget what it's called now, 128 or 138 or something like that, QS motor. And with a gear reduction assembly on the side here, so it reduces it, I think it's about a little more than a two to one. And uh, this is a mock-up of the battery, what I learned from Rich Rebuilds called the CAD, Cardboard Aided Design. So that represents the size of the battery, should fit perfectly right there. I'm going to get a mount for the motor, mount it right here, and then just have a new chain go up and over down to the back here with a far side driver sitting up here. So all of this came in from Alibaba. I think the kit with the motor, the controller, uh, this uh, 12 volt or tw 72 to 12 volt step down and two different controllers or two different uh, handlebar controls here. You got, you know, some horn, I don't know what S is, blinkers, lights, and another one is the throttle. I think it's all hanging out on the other side. Right here with the uh, speed settings and blinkers, ignition, and a really nice upgraded uh, display. All of that was about 800 bucks shipped to my location. Now I'm just waiting for the battery. Once the battery arrives, we should be able to take this one out for a good spin. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this go-kart. So first I wanna swap out the motor, make sure that that was the only issue. If it's not, then I will also replace the controller. And, um, oh, there goes that. And then uh, set up the display and the throttle or the accelerator pedal, get all of that situated so we can take this one around the neighborhood. And here is where we are with the go-kart conversion. Welded on a plate here to have the accelerator. Ran that wire underneath here and came out over here. I have this piece of metal that I just bent over um, and attached it to this plate that's holding the motor. The batteries and the electronics are all hosed in here. Now I need somewhere to connect to the charger. So attached a charging outlet here, riveted it on. So that should be good. That will sit in here later. Only other penetration through will be this jacketed uh, wire harness, which runs in here to the forward reverse and the starter ignore this hole it's not there okay now it looks better
Here's the de latest development for the go-kart. I have installed a little floodlight up front. The accelerator works well. We have the forward back installed there. Key that turns on and off the um, rear light as well. Unfortunately, I had to hook up the front light separately because there was not enough power coming out of this little controller to get good flow going. But anyway, on the back here, I have a little selector that I just installed where I can go battery one, battery two, off, or both. So I'll probably be staying between battery one and battery two. But the way I have it hooked up is this is one battery bank that makes, uh, what is it, 10 amp hour at 72. Then I have this charger on the back here that I'm just using to hold batteries that I can just swap batteries in and out. So we'll run battery bank one down first. Once that is no longer good, we'll be over here initially. And then uh, we'll swap that back to battery two. And battery two will then take us back home again. All right, as far as the wiring, it's uh, a little hard to see here, but got all these hooked up to make 72. We got a circuit breaker down here. I'll set up on a DIN switch. We have the motor mounted in here, the controller down there. Only thing that the controller is hooked up to is the charging port, which is on the outside there. Uh, the ignition. The forward rear selector and the throttle. Oh, and also the rear light, but it's just, I just found one that came, got a 72 volt so that I could, uh, this, this, uh, bat or light specifically runs, I think from 12 to 80 volt. So you don't have to have a voltage step down or anything. Same with the headlight. Unfortunately, the headlight, um, there was not enough amperage coming out of any of the selectors in here. So what I did was I just wired it straight to the battery, but through this switch. So if I accidentally forget it on, it will drain the battery completely. So unfortunately, uh, without a relay hooked up to um, the ignition, I wasn't able to get that hooked up without uh, um, through the key. So anyway, it is going well. It runs fast. No complaints here. That's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please do check if you're subscribed. If you're not, please do so. And uh, like the video. Comment below all the things that YouTube love for their algorithm. Next video, we will uh, actually finish that quad that we talked about instead of pivoting over to this go-kart. It was a lot of fun though. The kids are really enjoying driving this thing around and uh, it even works off-road. So if you have any comments, let me know and I'll try to see if I can include some extra updates in the next video. Till then, cheers.